Hello everybody and welcome back to Bomber Crew. Now, last episode we showed Bruno Brenner what fire really was in the form of some incendiary bullets flying right at his face. Um, this time we've upgraded our aircraft a bit. We got a few of the uh, upgrades at the end of the last time. I'll just show you what I've done. Our, our fuselage is a little bit better. Uh, we've I've opted for the lightweight fuselage because if you look at the actual stats, lightweight fuselage, 1, 2, 5, 0, and 75 weight. If I go to the armoured fuselage Mark IV, it's uh, quite a lot more for the uh, the weight. It, it's not a lot more, like, armour is what I mean, for the weight increase. It's a bit ridiculous, really. Um, yeah, it's just not worth it. Like, lightweight is just better. Like, armour for weight ratio is just so much better. Um, when Mark V becomes available, of course, I'll be upgrading to that. But, yeah, for now, lightweight is just the way to go. Um, because it lets us have all these extra things, so... Oh, I haven't done this yet. Uh, I need to change the systems? No, the equipment sections. I'm going to change these to two-slot uh, equipment racks, if I can. I think I can. I think I have enough space. Um, and then put the second one... I can put it as two med packs. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Not 100% sure what it is. I think it's a parachute. Or a dinghy or something for surviving if we crash. Um, but we need these dotted around the ship. Um... So the rear's only going to get uh, it's gonna be one of them, we've got that side. Ooh, maybe I should make mid-rear two med packs. Uh, Mid-front can become a two-slot as well, and it can get one of these, and then the very front one can become a two-slot. It's going to get two of those. That way everybody's always near two med packs, just in case we get shot. I'm expecting a lot of pain coming our way. Don't know if you can tell. Um, coming up in this episode, though, is we're only going to do one mission today. Uh, plainly because it is a significant mission and we've got two upgrades. We've got enemy armor down Which has worked really well for us and en enemy damage down basically operation the Lantos We've received in intelligence that a high-ranking enemy officer is visiting a secret HQ at Alderhorst The area is scattered with radar sites avoid them at all costs and take them by surprise So the point of this is to be sneaky, right? We've got to reach Alderhorst without drawing too much attention Use the navigator to the spot and navigate around enemy radar sites now. We were doing this last episode So it's not gonna be too much different um, we just have to work out which ones are flak and which ones are radar sites. And our radio for recon is going to come in handy here as well. But yes, as usual, I will bring you guys in when we are closer into the action and there's more interesting stuff happening. Right, so we're just approaching Germany. The first radar site has been spotted just down there. I'm going to be avoiding that one at all costs. I believe all of them in this mission are radar spots, so we'll do our best to avoid those using our, uh, our custom marker skill. Um, we're going to radio for recon now to see what we can find. And I've dropped us down to a lean fuel mixture, you can see down there, uh, just so that we don't go too quickly and we can actually, once we've marked up a place we want to go to, uh, we can aim at it before it all goes goes too horribly wrong. Um, try and dodge over the top. I'm thinking maybe they're in a pattern. Right, so we're about to thread the needle. We're going to try and fit through. Right, I think we've just about managed that. Well, that was close. Blimey. This is weird. I've placed a custom marker. Oh no, okay, we've been detected by the radar, radar base. Let's just boost up. Open the doors. I've selected the bomb. Should be able to get there in 10 seconds. Lovely. Got it before they could even call in reinforcements. Now we've got to fight our way out. Let's uh, let's see if we can get back out of here. Where are they? Oh, they're high. High noon. Moving around to 6 o'clock right behind us. Damn. Right, um, we're probably going to end up alerting everybody on the way out of here, so we're going to try and get out of here without too much issue. Uh, bombs, we can close the doors now. I'm going to radio for recon just in case there's any um, uh, recon spots, like recon photos that I can take nearby, because that would be really handy. Right, enemy fighters spotted above. They're going to be coming for us. The general's been taken out, they're not happy. How are we doing? Oh, there's one down there. Let's let's see if we can head down for that, actually. Right, we're going to take a slight detour. We're going to go and get this. We might as well. A bit of a waste to not. We've, for some reason, not been fired on yet. And I wonder if we're just evading the uh, the enemy fighters perfectly. Because we were attacked by some, but I don't think we even fired a shot back at them. 
hum. So here we are, just about to get our recon photos. We've not been attacked by a single plane, not one. Um, it's been quite a leisurely little jaunt through uh, through Germany that we've taken. We've evaded the entire Luftwaffe. Um, we're gonna, of course, radio for recon just in case there is anything sort of hiding over here. But I don't think there is. I think we've we've managed to get through this with completely unscathed. Not a single bullet has been fired. They're all still on 1,200 on each of the guns. Two ammo, two ammo clips. Um, stick and stick Barton back in the front gun. Have we got anything? I think there is. Now we got it all. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back in at the base. It's a very uneventful mission. Uh, kind of disappointing, really, for an end of a chapter. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we got. Well, there we have it. Operation Lelantos was uh, surprisingly easy. Um, netted us a hell of a lot of money. A lot of recon. We got our optional recon photos. I couldn't have asked for a better mission. It did waste our arm, enemy armor down because. You know, didn't really, uh, didn't really encounter any enemies that we even fired at, so uh, <laughs> bit of a waste of that. But I suppose it was better to go into, into it prepared than anything else. We have, um, for some reason, got the armored fuselage Mark Three. Okay, um, we've also got the Mark Five. So let's have a look at the aircraft and see if we can fit that. So uh, armored fuselage Mark Five uh, is a weight increase of quite a, sub a substantial amount. So if I change the tail, how much is the... Okay, yeah, the defense bonus is well worth it. So we're gonna change the tail to it and the main rear as well to protect our two gunners. Oh, we can't fit it, oh, that's annoying. Okay, we'll just leave the tail as that, um, just so that any fighters that come in from behind us can't kill our back gun. It's the furthest away and the most difficult to go and save if anything goes wrong. And just because that really didn't take any time at all, we're going to jump into another one, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, we've uh, take a quick look at the enemy fighter races. We could have Merrick Jaeger or Kasper von Nahl attacking us. I have no idea what either of them do, and I am terrified because Bruno Brenner, I, I saw videos of, was, was bad enough, to be honest. Um, but let's have a look at what we've got available. Um, we have, we are effectively halfway through the game now. Uh, we've got an easy mission we can take on over here, sub hunt. I don't particularly like doing sub hunts, but that is there. We've got um, landing beaches, reconnaissance, medium risk. Uh, what else do we have? TNT dropped to a resistance area. That's pretty cool. Get flak operation down as well. Does that one come with anything? No, it doesn't. And a chapter mission called Operation Overlord, uh, which is quite a... Operation Overlord was D-Day, wasn't it? Yeah, it's D-Day. Oh my word, I can do a D-Day episode. Okay, well that's gonna have to wait. Um, we'll go and do, let's go and do a sub hunt, why not? Sure, I don't particularly like them, but it's, it's some XP. Um, I really wanna get up to the next level of our 303s. So the sooner we can do that, the better really. Let's take off and as ever, I will bring you guys back in when we are at the action of killing the underwater beasts known as U-boats. Right, so we're just out over East Anglia into the North Sea, and we spotted some enemy fighters. Four in a squadron this time. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit worrying. We don't have enemy armor down this time, but we do have enemy damage down, so that should keep us from being too, too harmed by them. Well, it'll just be a test of Julia Barton's skills in the front gun. Targets have spotted the first U-boat though, and I do need her to get down into the, uh, into the bombing position. We take them out. We got one down. Two down. Nice down before they got to us. Three down. Oh, and a fourth. And a fourth. No? Okay, right. Well, Julia Barton, you are now going to get down into the bomb bay, open up the doors, and select the first. What are they? Are they torpedoes? They're weird. Um, <laughs> we're going to try and take these guys out. We're going to get three with our five bombs, so we can't miss this. Release the first set over there. Right. We're going to quickly pop into Germany to get these recon photos, because they're just... They're just worth it, really, aren't they? Um, first squad has been taken out. How are we doing for ammo? We've only got 180 bullets left, so we'll get you to recharge, and you're fine. Okay, another target has been spotted. Although where, I don't know. I'm going to stick on an auto tag. Just in case any enemies decide that they want to take us on. Um, while we're busy flying over here, we're going to close the doors, conserve some fuel. Any fighters have been spotted on radar. Have they already been tagged up? Yes, they have. Uh, we're going to take the photo of this place. Whatever it may be. Submarine refueling station, maybe? Something like that. Vehicle bay. That sort of thing. Uh, right, let's head back towards the kill zone. There is a sub over there. I feel like that one's going to be easier to kill. And we'll stick a boost on as well. 
accidentally uh, used up our lean as well there. Uh, we'll open up the doors and be ready to take this out. Ray gunners should be doing a pretty good job. Come on, guys. One down. Take them out before they kill us. That's your job. Right. Circle around and get this last one here. If we can get this before they uh, break the surface, we should be fine. There's only one more fighter in the sky. It's a very easy mission so far. Ah, uh, submarine's diving. I spoke too soon. Of course I did. It's my life right now. Come on, subs. Subby subbies. It's raining. It's pouring. Come to the surface so I can bomb you. Come on. Any submarines about? Any more for any more? Oh, there's one over there. I saw him surfacing. He's busy firing his, his tiny little AA gun into the sky in the hopes that he could take us out with his puny little bullets. But they do nothing. For I am the molehill. <laughs> and my crew are boss. Because they do that. Brilliant stuff. Right. We'll stick on an auto tag because I can't be asked to tag all these guys up. And we'll close up the bomb bay doors. Put Julia Button back on the front gun. Get ourselves home. We're gonna focus up as well. Got some incendiary ammo pumping out of them. If you can just get one bullet off, this stuff is amazing. It just does constant damage over time. It just ruins enemy aircraft. It's amazing stuff. Right, we're gonna reload the front gun for some reason. You're out of ammo. It's not great. Uh, pretty low in the middle as well. And the rear. Oh my word, all three guns out of action is not good. But we are heading back home, so we should be okay, I think. Not gonna speak too soon. I think she looks the radar on where we are, we'll be fine. Yeah, okay, right. I will bring you guys back in at the end just to see what we gain from this easy mission. Hopefully enough recon points to get something interesting, something something nice for the plane. Right, some lovely stuff. So, casual little easy sub hunt. We've uh, we got 1,200 for that. We've got 800 for returning to the base. No slow time bonus as well. And the recon photos, of course, bringing in the most out of any of those objectives. Um, did anybody get a level up? I don't think they would have done. Not from that. Maybe a level 9 recon there. Hopefully a level 9 recon there. No, I don't think anybody gained enough experience from it. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, uh, we'll see if we've unlocked anything new recon-wise. No, it doesn't look like we have. Well, before the next episode, then, at least we're going to go into our aircraft and change the livery. And to change our base paint to something a little bit, a little bit different. What haven't we used already? We've used all of these... Definitely use gift wrapped and festive. Banana yellow. I feel like we've used... Oh, leaping salmon pink. I like that. Yeah, we're going to install that one. Okay, so we're going to be a pink plane next episode. We're going to take on the run-up missions to the D-Day landings. I can't wait for that. I wonder if we're going to see like lots of little landing craft and stuff like that. Huh. Oh, well. Um, and for, that's it for this episode, though. So uh, thank you if you've watched all the way to the end. I appreciate you so much. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the episode and you want to see future into the D-Day landings. Please do, because I really want to play that mission on the camera. Um, and, of course, leave a subscribe if you're new. and Hit the bell for notifications of new videos when they're released. I love your faces, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>